If you guys are looking to buy cheap and reliable coins, make sure to check out my sponsor, redzonecoins.com. Use code Noble at checkout for 15% off your purchase. Link is in the description. What's up today, my fellow man soldiers? So what I'm going to be doing right now is another 50 out of 50 Dallas Cowboy theme team update. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this. Um, I don't think I got the team activated. So, yeah, I don't think this is the team. So we're going to have to activate it. It is 50-50 with fillers. So, yeah, it's right here. Here we go. So we're going to go ahead and activate it. We got a few new players. I'm going to go over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the new players. And I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to go about building my team. Because there is ways. Um, I, I, I'm going to switch it up here and there. But it's going to be a 50-50. I'm not saying like that. I'm just saying certain players on how I mix my round with chemistries and all that. All right. So... Okay, so first things I want I want to uh, let you guys know is that apparently the team captains went up to an 88 if you want to power them up all the way to an 88. So with that being said, I automatically assume with the 88s coming about that maybe they release some new, um, like to, in order to level up and get some more tokens. No. So you're able to get them up to an 88 with the tokens you already have, but you can't, you're not going to get them more tokens. So with that being said, I'm going to keep it for what it is um, because Kevin Maui is an 85 with Cowboy Kim. And then uh, Eric Berry's in 86 with Cowboy Kim, so I'm gonna keep it like that. So then the two new players that we actually got is uh, uh, OC, Osa, uh, Diggy Zua, if I said it right, and then also Tyron Smith. Tyron Smith is not really that big, I guess you could say, when it comes to an upgrade because we really got left tackle on here, but it's something. So he only costs 20, 20, 20k coins, so we're gonna go ahead and uh. Um, I just added him, and then I got rid of Franco Harris, not because he was bad, a great player, but because I, I was like, look it, we're going to get a free 86 overall fantasy pack when it comes to these new, um, what are these players again? Oh, Gridiron Guardian players, we're going to get a free 86, one of them is a fullback, so I'm going to get the fullback once I get him, I'm going to add him right here, but for now we're using uh, Michael Mayer as our fullback, so let me go ahead and put that out there real quick. Anyways, let's go ahead and go over uh, uh, Osa Adigisua or something, whatever you, how you say it. X factors, he gets fear monger, unstoppable force, reinforcement, blitz, relentless, run stuffer, momentum shift, selfless, first tier abilities, clutch, homer, indoor baller, persistent, comeback, closer, recuperation, spinner swim club lumberjack stonewall and ripper second tier abilities reach elite strip specialist goal line stuff run stopper adrenaline rush mr big stop extra credit instant rebate unpredictable and also deflator at the right um after i go over the abilities i'll let you guys know which is the best abilities to put on him um, it's gonna be up to you how many, how much AP you want to use. But I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna consider the AP. I'm just gonna let you guys know which is the best abilities if you want to ability, ability him up, I should say. And then we got Bogo, defensive rally, strip specialist, extra credit, run stopper again, goal line stuff, unpredictable. So un un unpredictable is shed wins are less likely to add a blocker resistance, which is not bad. But I mean, looking at all these. Uh, defensive rally see i like the defensive rally because it adds a pass rush point to all linemen on third and fourth down so it adds it to all their uh, alignment third and fourth down so if it's third and fourth down and you guys want it so usually the extra point it helps out when you use them right so say for instance it's third or fourth down you want to make sure that they don't go ahead and uh you don't convert it to a first down you want to just try to sack the qb then that's good because you could get on one of your best users and just go and try to try to like butcher your way through to uh the lineman and then try to get a sack or whatever the case may be so to me what i would do i would add defensive rally the second tier i would go ahead and add should attempt to run off free plays i would i would do have to do i like the goal line stuff i like the quicker run sheds near the goal line Run stopper I like because people do be running the plays, but if I had to go with one, honestly, it would have to be goal line stuff. I'm not going to lie. Some people might pick run stopper, but I would have to go with goal line stuff, especially when they're so close to the goal line. And if you're not using them, they'll be able to, you know, automatically animate and then make that happen, which I seen. And then on the first tier, 
truthfully, I would have to go with Stonewall. And the reason I go with Stonewall, because it says it right there, prevents additional yardage gains while tackling. So once they get that tackle, you ain't going anywhere. So I do like going with Stonewall. And even with some of my cornerbacks, if they don't get certain abilities I want, I put Stonewall all on them because I was like, well, if they can't get these other abilities, at least I know they're going to make their tackles. And then he, then he also gets, I guess, special chemistry, right? He gets Boom Bros and also Compatriots. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go mess around with these chemistries and we're going to see what we're going to need in order to activate it. If I can find out a way, um, I will actually make this happen. But we'll check it out though. And then of course he gets cowboy cams and this, these are his old font arts. All right, now to his attributes. 80 speed, 79 acceleration, 91 strength, 89 tackle, 86 play rec, 88 block shed, 82 power move, 73 finesse move. For being an 89 overall, I pay 500k coins for him. He might be lower now. I have to check the market again, or he might be higher, higher, lower, whatever the case may be. But whatever it is, 500k coins, 89 overall. I, I think that the the, the block shit block shit is great, but the power move finesse move should have been evened out a lot better. It wasn't. That is my biggest complaint, to be honest with you guys. The jumping, I mean, I mean, if he if he's not that great of a jumper in real life, then I could understand that. But those other stats need to be higher, in my opinion. So Hit power 83, it's not the greatest, but I don't think that many linemen have like defensive linemen or defensive tackles. Um, get that such crazy uh, hit power anyway, there might be a few. So 83, I could actually, I I'm okay with. It's just usually the finesse move and the power move that I believe should have went up. And because we got Tyron Smith, let's go ahead and check him out for those who want to know. Let's open up his ability slot, see what he gets. So he's gonna get tear proof, tough nut, unspin, screen protector, recuperation, fool me once, and metador. So if I would have to use, like say for instance, I am using or you are using a pure cowboy theme team, we're like, oh man, what what um ability should I put on him? Honestly, what I go with is screen protector. Dominant impact block wins on screen plays. So when you do screen plays, you know. It says right there you want to be more dominant and be able to make those plays happen. Considering he's the 83 overall, you want to be much more effective at that. And then he gets uh, legitimate legs also. Hmm. Boost all GG legitimate leg players. So we have to have four of them. Might have to look into this. Might have to look into this. And he gets Cowboy Kim. All right, and then these are his attributes, which look at, it's actually a lot more even, uh, well, uh, even out than the other card, but but once again, though, this is how cards are supposed to look, even now, especially as 83 overall. 82 strength, 79 awareness, 81 pass block, 86 pass block power, 82 pass block finesse. You see how the pass block are evened out, and then you get the run block, run block power, run block finesse, 83, 82, 83. That's how I was saying that, uh, Osa Adigizua should have been even out when it came to his stats. I like this card. Um, even though he's a lower overall, they are pretty now. His stats are pretty evened out. So I give it to him for that. So that's the way it's looking right there. However, let's go ahead and look at the rest of the squad. This is how the squad is looking. I really want us looking. I'm okay with the squad. I'm gonna work around and, and do some cams and, and I want to make it a lot better. Um, but I do like my team and who I have right now. I'm waiting on Stefan Gilmore to lower. I will be picking him up. But what I do want to point out is that we need a receiver. I want a better wide receiver with the Cowboy Cam, of course, because we'll get the plus two speed that I can add to the squad right now. This is who we got. This is who we have to work with. I'm happy with Brandon Cook, so 89 speed. But if we can get at least another uh, another fast receiver, it will make this team a lot better. I mean, of course, the QB. QB is doing good for now, but of course, I would definitely like another QB. But um, upgrades in general would be cool, but like that, that's what I'm really looking forward to. So this is a squad right here for those who are new. Offense, defense. So let's go skip through it. Special teams. Oh, and also let me show you guys real quick. Um, so in the game, I substitute him in. You got Jalen Ramsey. I substitute in. Who's the other? Oh, DeAndre Hopkins. I substitute in. So that does help out. So I'm able to get away with quite a bit. And I think he get. Oh, you don't get the special kins because I have him as a backup. But still, though, I mean, he, he works out. It works out for us. So I'm going to leave it right here. Please drop a like on the video. Until next time, I'm out.